diversity, equity, and inclusion is not just with the recent events in the country, but as an organization has been important to us. And we're looking into opportunities either in the way of workshops or ways to educate ourselves more on implicit bias and recognize that in ourselves, how do we change our behavior? And once we've identified a program, lecture, whatever it is that we think helps us become more educated as a board. We plan to flow that down to the village boards. And actually we have a working group that includes village board members. So as an organization, starting at the board level, because I think that you have to start with leadership and we have to lead. And then within the management, uh, Roger, LaDonna, there's a, a diversity, equity, and inclusion council. It is important and we, we recognize not only in our ability to make changes in, within our organization to um, promote um, diversity, equity, and inclusion, but also as a consumer. So we were interviewing a company and we asked, what are your DE&I priorities? And they were surprised to, because you, if, if that's truly a value, then we have to make sure that, that it's, it's the value of people we deal with so that so that we can really have a larger and greater impact. And so that's how far we're taking it. We're not talking, we're, we're just not talking about ourselves. We're talking about everybody that we deal with. We want to have the same values that we have around de and I. I think it came as a surprise to the company and they said, oh no, we'll make sure you, and I said, no, not us, you. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so, but I really think that that's that kind of top down, pushing it down, particularly as a customer or consumer, we have so much leverage to make sure it happens. And I think if it doesn't, sometimes we don't ask, they don't think about it. And if it's important to us, why wouldn't we ask? 